Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on the unboxing and first look of the HP ProBook 430 G5. The G5 comes in many different configurations, but the most notable upgrade, HP has opted for the Intel Core i5 8th generation CPU. And prices for this model start at 639 USD. Yet again, HP have opted for a plain cardboard box packaging. And the only labelling on the outside of the box is the specifications. Okay guys, so let's get to the unboxing. So one of the first things that you'll notice is the box itself is actually quite thick. So if we open it up, and we'll see why. So we've got our Intel inside sticker there. We also get one of these bags carry bags. Um, just open that up. So I don't know how I feel about giving these bags away. A lot of these bags, um, if you buy them for enterprise or companies, you know, some people will use them, some won't. So they're kind of just, a lot of these bags just go into the rubbish. Um, but it's a nice touch anyway. If we look inside the bag, we've just got some setup instructions there. Some warranty information and then we've got the power cord okay that's the Australian version if you're in the US you'd have the US version and just the power cable power brick so that plugs into your laptop that plugs into your wall socket and that's it that's in the bag it's a nice bag it's quite light it has a little uh, uh, pad that you can put over your shoulder And the rest of the box, so the box is quite plain packaging, which I like, you know. They're not spending too much money or using too much resources and they're keeping the cost, cost of the laptop down. Let's pull off these. Bits of foam on the side and then there's a little sticker underneath. You can pull that off. And just slide the laptop out like so. One of the other things you'll notice about this as well is if we open the case up, there's no screen protector on the on the uh, on the actual laptop. And the reason is, if we look at the top there, there's actually this protection bezel kind of around the top of the laptop. So the screen never actually touches the keyboard. It's protected when you fold it down like that. It, that lip or that protection, that little edge goes right around the laptop and protects the protects the screen uh, from touching the keys. So there it is there, the HP ProBook 430G5. So if we take a look at the front of the laptop there, you've got the little foot pads underneath to keep it off, off the surface that you're using. There's also a little thumb that you can pull the top up like so. The laptop's quite thin. It's uh, 1.9 centimetres thick and so almost two centimetres so pretty uh, pretty thin laptop and the weight of the laptop as well so it starts at uh, 1.49 kgs okay so 3.28 ounces but the weight does change depending on what you get what components you have inside uh, the laptop. So from the left side to the right side it's 32.6 centimeters and it's 23.4 centimeters from the front to the back of the laptop. If we take a look at the right hand side of the laptop and we've got a few ports here so the first port on this side is a USB 3.1 type C port so USB C next one there is a USB 3.1 Gen 1 and it's a powered port. Then we've got our HDMI port next to that, VGA port and then we've got our RJ45 one uh, on the end there. Next one is our power jack. Okay, you plug your power in there and when it's charging you'll have a little light there. It'll be amber if it's, uh, if it's charging or it'll be green, green if it's fully charged. If we take a look at the left hand side of the laptop here. Uh, we've got our little light here 
which uh, flashes when the when the hard disk or the SSD is uh, working, depending on which model you get. Next to that, we've got our SD card reader. So it supports SD, SDHC, and SDXC. Beside that, we've got our headphone microphone combo jack, our USB 3.1 port again. We've got a little grill here, which lets the hot air out of the laptop. And then the last one on the end there is our Kensington lock. On the back of the laptop, we've got our HP logo in the middle of the lid of the laptop. And down the bottom there, we've got our Pro, Pro Book logo. If we just lift it up, you can see it's a reflective silver uh, HP logo. And it doesn't light up when you turn the laptop on. So, so no frills there, uh, just stock standard logo. So if we open the laptop up and take a look at the keyboard and layout. So we've got the ProBook logo and we've got our Intel uh, Core i5 8 Gen sticker on the right hand side here. The top part of the laptop is actually aluminium so it's, it's cool to touch. The rest of the laptop is made out of plastic like a silver plastic but the, the top part here is actually uh, aluminum so it's cool to touch. On this side we've got our fingerprint scanner okay if you want to log in with your fingerprint uh, to the laptop you can you can choose to use that method. Across the top we've got our power button uh, sleep wake power button so if you press it once it will go to sleep. Across the top so we don't have any other buttons so they've decided to um, save save on costs there and integrate all the normal uh, other buttons across the top of a laptop that you might see basically into the function keys. So what you do is you hold down your function and you press any of the other keys and this one is uh, for your brightness. So F3 is to turn brightness down, F4 is to turn brightness up and then you've also got your um, other keys here. So your sound keys F5, F6 and F7. On this side here you see F11, there's a function key there for your um, uh, your wireless. So if you wanted to turn your wireless on or off, you can just go function and then F11. There's also function F12 is sleep. Function F8 is to mute. And function 1 is to switch, um, switch between screens. So if you've got an external monitor plugged in, you would go function F1 and that would change, uh, change your viewing on your different screens. Along the top of the laptop, we've got our HD integrated webcam. And either side of there, we've got two pinholes. Uh, they are the microphone pinholes. And the one uh, just here is a LED, which lights up when your webcam is in use. If you'd like to compare the G5 and the G4, I've already done a video on the G4, so I'll put a link in the video right now. If we have a look underneath the bottom of the laptop, it's uh, quite a nice finish with a plastic silvery um, case or chassis, and it doesn't seem to leave uh, any fingerprints on the laptop, which is a, a really nice thing. Also, you've got a couple of vents here, which allow the air to get out from the laptop and give it some better cooling. Now, if you wanted to have a look at the expansion ports or the upgrade ports, underneath the laptop as well. There's a little screw there which you can undo and that lifts the one tab off. Under here you've got slots to upgrade your memory or your RAM and if you do undo another screw here you've also got a slot here which you can put in either an SSD drive, a backup drive or a SATA hard drive for more storage space. Also here you can see we've got our M.2 uh, SSD right there and then there's our wireless card up the back there as well. So the screen itself is a 13.3 inch HD anti-glare LED screen. However, you will see that there is a little bit of glare on the screen and I can highlight this by just moving a little bit in and out of the light there. So it does give you some funny uh, glare on the screen when when you're not looking directly at it. And this is also highlighted uh, with the viewing angle. So I'll try and give you a decent sort of look at the viewing angle. So really it starts to go a bit pear shaped at that angle. And if we turn the laptop around the other way, 
Let's see if we can get that in as well. You can see there's a little bit of glare on the screen as well. Okay, I'm just going to play one of these free trailers for you. And uh, I've got the sound all the way up, so it should give you a good indication of the speakers. Speakers aren't too bad. They could be better, I think, but um, anyway, here it is. Okay, so there you go guys. So would I actually recommend the G5? I would recommend the G5 for people that are um, looking for a laptop that's going to perform very well. It's got the latest 8th gen Intel processor. So, you know, it's, it's going to do things like video editing, maybe some, some CAD uh, work, um, email, web browsing, all that sort of stuff it's going to do quite well. One thing I think they could improve on is the sound quality. The, the speakers aren't bad, they're just not great speakers. So, I mean, they'll get you by, but, uh, you know, if you're looking for something with better speakers, maybe look at other types of laptop that are on the market. Otherwise, if you're looking for a laptop that comes with a handy bag and you don't want to have to go out and buy an extra bag, it's a really good price and, and a really good laptop for the price. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.